we basically had a catastrophic tow bar failure. It could be this simple forever. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a new episode. This one's kind of a, a downer, kind of serious. We had a really bad day today. Uh, we are currently at St. Ignace KOA, right by the Mackinac Bridge, uh, the upper peninsula of Michigan. We're here for a few days, but what happened was today was a travel day. We were driving here from uh, Rivers Bend, Michigan in Iron Mountain and we got to Escanaba, Michigan which is right by I guess Lake Michigan and we were on Highway 2 and then all of a sudden I was looking in the camera and I noticed the Jeep doing something really funny. It was just swerving a lot and it was just looking really funny and then um, we basically had a catastrophic tow bar failure. It was probably around 12.30, 12.45. We were about an hour, hour into the drive. We just, I think we just did about 70 miles and, uh, just had come to a stoplight. We were, uh, going up a hill. I was in the left lane because we were driving through a res, um, a town area or a city area and I moved to the left lane because I didn't want to have to stop and accelerate a lot with people pulling in and out of the store so I was in the left lane and again I just looked down at the camera because I'm always doing checks of our rear view camera side mirrors our GPS our tire pressure monitoring whole system and I, I, I was just looking at it and the Jeep was just doing something so weird and it was wiggling really funny, swerving. And then all of a sudden, I just saw the Jeep start, uh, its distance from our RV start increasing. Uh, I then immediately said, oh, shit. Yeah. And, uh, Jordana looked at me and said, what? And I said, I don't know. But then I started to brake. But the problem is, as I braked, then the Jeep is gonna catch up to us. So, <clears throat> um, I was trying to slow down the RV. And um, I guess somehow in the back of my mind i was trying to let the breakaway cable engage so that the jeep got far enough away from the rv that the breakaway would pull out and the brake would start uh going would press in the jeep uh by the way big thanks to rvi brake because that thing saved our life probably and saved the jeep and the rv because it it worked so the jeep swerved also the other thing luckily I think there was only two cars that were way behind us. So there was nobody around us. I think right before the brake was going, um, right before the breakaway pulled out, the Jeep, as I was slowing down, the Jeep caught up to us and tagged the rear driver's side of our RV and the passenger front bumper and fender well of the Jeep. Um, so I'll show you that. We have some damage there. When those two tagged, I sped up a little bit. The Jeep distance increased again and then the cable, breakaway cable pulled out and then the brake engaged and the Jeep uh, came to a stop as I was slowing down and slamming on the brakes of the RV. Uh, so now we are in the left lane. There's no shoulder for me to pull over. I have I was in half the lane. Half the RV was on the dirt and grass. The Jeep was sticking out into the left lane of traffic. And 
the tow bar, which is this guy, was in the middle of the highway because it had sheared off not only where it couples at the front where it goes into the hitch, but then it also sheared off at the lug connectors, which are the adjustable arms. So you can see here. So this was in the middle of the highway. Luckily we were able to retrieve it because we want to show it to the insurance or show it to Blue Ox and say, uh, what the heck. Um, by the time we were all said and done, only one safety cable was still attached. Uh, one of the safety cables snapped and then you can see here so we had a failure of a safety cable that snapped we only had one safety cable left so obviously it's no good anymore because it's, it was good right here so that was still attached to the Jeep and basically it was once one cable connected to the Jeep connected to the RV and everything else was just obliterated. So that's what we have. Yeah, so uh, we are very thankful that wh whoever was looking after us, there were no cars around us. Um, and somehow we were able to pull, I was able to pull this off where we only have minimal damage to the Jeep and the RV, which I will show you. Um, so our tow bar obviously is shot. We need a new tow bar. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work. And we still probably have another couple of weeks till we get back to visit my mom. Uh, so we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna be able to do this, but uh, let's show you the Jeep first. Here is the Jeep. So here's our bumper. I don't know if you can see, but the bumper is supposed to be straight. It's now bent. Sorry, bent this way. Um, our connection point here, which was fully extended, and I think this is shot also. So I need a new one of these connectors. Our brake system, which actually worked. So really happy about that. Thank you, RVI brake. Um, so, this bent up I could probably hammer all of this out and fix it um, I don't know we'll see and then our fender well that tagged the RV this is cracked so luckily it's still attached so not too bad here's the back of the Jeep so here's the spot that I think most likely sheared off first this is the connector so I'm guessing this sheared off first and then was, uh, caused the whole issue. Uh, but this is where the Jeep tagged the RV. So the marks here, our ladder here was completely pressed in. So that's kind of shot. Uh, we have all this damage here, this crack, this rear bumper. Luckily this is still intact and the wall is good. Um, but our door here is screwed and I had to use uh, permabond tape to make us drivable. You can see the metal that's bent here. This is our generator door. Uh, it doesn't close so I had to tape it to this door. Uh, so a whole mess of problems. So we are drivable but it's not a good situation. Oh, all right so that's where we're at. Um, I've already been on the phone with our insurance company for the RV and we filed a claim and just to let them know what's going on and uh, we'll see what happens when the adjuster calls and when they, if they want to come and inspect everything so obviously you got to keep everything uh, we're not gonna flat tow for a while till we know um, I guess it, uh, obviously we need a tow bar and I'm not buying a tow bar until I figure out if we're getting this thing replaced by uh, Blue Box. Uh, yeah, so I think we are done with all the issues that we've been having for the past six months or three months when everything started. So this is the third thing that we've had. We had the engine coolant line that blew. We lost our awning in South Dakota driving on the highway on I-90 
and now we had a flat toe disaster. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try and relax. We're uh, making dinner and um, still uh, a little frayed from the whole experience. The adrenaline's wearing off, so um, yeah. But big thank you to RVI Break. You make an awesome product. Yeah, everything worked. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> probably saved our lives and probably saved us from being in a horrible accident with the Jeep and the RV. So yeah, really thankful for that. And thankful that we are all okay. All right, so uh, tomorrow we're hanging out here in St. Ignace. I think we're gonna uh, do an adventure and uh, I guess I don't know when we'll show that, but uh, we may go check out the Shipwreck Museum and see the uh, bell of the Edmund Fitzgerald. So we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see if we actually want to get into the Jeep and drive tomorrow because, yeah, who knows. All right, thanks for watching this video, everybody. Have a great day. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe and follow, around, follow along on this uh, real-life, full-time RV adventure.